and welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. Please excuse the dishevelled appearance. We've had a morning of cleaning and I've just escaped to shower. Um, so, I've, I, yeah, today is Sunday the 19th of December. The cats are very zoomy because I do not like the hoover. And um, yeah, I thought I'd spare you the cleaning footage because nobody needs to see that. Nobody needs to see that. Pretty chilled out day here today, other than a morning of cleaning. I have edited and uploaded yesterday's vlog, which is really good. Uh, not, well, I mean, it means it's good that it, I've edited and uploaded it. I'm not bragging about my vlog, that's not who I am. And yes, we're gonna have an afternoon of board games and fun times, and I need to hand wash some socks either today or tomorrow. I mean, I don't need to do them today or tomorrow, but I thought before I do that, I would mend all the ones that I have found with holes in. Um, this one has a hole in these ones. I have the holes in, I've got a hole here. And I've got a hole on the other one as well. I didn't know I had a hole in each of them, but here we go. I have a hole in this one. I think we had moss in our last house and they found my socks. So extensive repair work will be going on. I've already repaired the heel of this one, but I don't think I have any more of the matching wool left, so I'm going to be using highly contrasting wool. Because if you can't match, contrast. And I'll be mending it on my 14 hook speed weave because, um, yeah. I'll pop a link in the description box below if you want one for yourself. Um, I am not sponsored by them. I was meant to um, be partnering up with them, but then it fell through, but they sent me some speed weaves. Um, but they were the bigger ones and the one with with fewer hooks. I bought this particular one myself. Um, but, yes, link will be in the description box. It was very fast postage. Um, but yeah, this one is Mario's and then the rest are mine. I sorted through all my socks and got out all the pairs that I wanted to wash and left all the odd socks in the drawer. I have a lot of odd socks and I don't know where their partner is, so... That's kind of annoying. And then whenever I'd find a partner of one, I'd also find an odd sock. So, um, yeah. Don't quite know how I've accumulated so many odd socks, but if that could stop, that would be great. Because it's actually very, very annoying to have that many odd socks. That's why I keep knitting socks, because I keep losing them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a bit of TLC. Give a bit of love to my socks. And mend them. Bless him. socks so far. I have a few to go. Um, it's very difficult to film using the speed weave because I'd like to do it like this and that's quite hard to do when you're trying to film. It has to be kind of be like this. It's a very awkward angle but I do have a video of me doing it um, up on YouTube so I'll pop it in the description box if you want to see a bit more. And I've got three socks left to mend but we're having ham and cheese toasties with a loaf of bread that was left over from the market yesterday that was particularly delicious. Um, Mary makes a really nice soft white bread that has loads of sour cream in it to make it soft. And he ran out of sour cream, so it's also got regular cream in it. It's really good. It's really good. Um, but the cat is on, so I'm going to open two of my advents, um, my tea one and my the fibre fox one. And then I'll open two days of my chromatic yarns advent um, after lunch. So, today's tea advent is, it's the 19th today. Ooh, ah, yes. Today's tea is chocolate digestives. 
It's one of my faves. I have a massive tin of it. I drink it all the time. So, um, yes. I will be having one of these right now. Yes, mate, definitely. Um, a smooth cocoa hit with a chocolatey biscuit base. Base, 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 chocolatey biscuit base. Um, Sri Lankan black tea, cocoa nibs, cocoa shells, fenugreek. Uh, licorice, cardamom and natural flavouring. Really tasty, chocolate digestive type of biscuit here in the UK. Um, yes. I will be having one of those. Don't forget, I'll pop a link to the tea in the description box below. So if you want to snag some for yourself, please feel free. This is part of their regular collection though, so it's not a limited edition tea. Um, and we're going into day 19 of the Fiberfox advent calendar. And today's colorway is... I often do quite a flamboyant bag opening and then I cut it all out because the rustling is too loud. <laughs> anyway, here is the yarn. Oh, pretty. Ah, I like this. This is called Silver Bells. Someone said that I should lay out all of the Fiber Fox yarns and uh, show you them all. And I might do that on Christmas Eve. Once I've opened the last one, I'll lay them all out and film them all for you so you can see them all. But yes, this is really pretty. Uh, silvery gray, gray color with some of those uh, slate blue speckles in. I really, really like it. Yep, really pretty, very nice. And yes, silver bells. I am off to eat my toasty and see what tea Mario would like to have. He might want his other mince pie or he might want chocolate digestives or he might want something completely different. So let's go find out and uh, yeah, let's go make a cup of tea. So the game that you just saw us playing is called Dead of Winter. Mario has a signed copy of the game from when he went to Spielmesse in Essen. Um, and yeah, it's a co-op zombie survival game set in winter, hence Dead of Winter. Very seasonal, <laughs> very festive. Um, we lost the game, sadly. We were so close to winning. We were one round away from winning and then someone got bitten by a zombie and then someone died and someone else died and then morale went to zero and we lost, which was very frustrating. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy co-op games because I'm a very sore loser 
and at least if you lose in a co-op game, everyone loses. It's the game that wins, so you can't really be annoyed at it as much. But Mario kept finding survivors that we then had to add to our colony, which then we meant we needed more food, and it's like, oh, very annoying. Yeah, every time it's just like, oh, I found someone else, like, oh, stop finding people. But um, yeah, we had we lit the fire for the first time this year. Lovely, well, this season, I guess, this winter. Um, lovely. The cats were very, first of all, scared, but then confused, and then Kimchi loved it and curled up in the basket in front of it, which was very cute. Um, and yeah. I'm going to mend some more socks, I think. It's already getting dark, so I'm not going to be able to show you advent colourways. I'm going to get up and do it first thing tomorrow. You get three, three lots in one. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep mending these, these socks and then knit Mario's sleeve. And then I think we're going to watch a nice festive Christmas film. There was talk of It's a Wonderful Life, but I don't know if he still wants to watch that or if you want to watch something else, because we've never seen it and I feel like it's a classic that everyone loves, so we should probably watch it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I very much enjoyed playing Dead of Winter. It was really good, really good fun. The instructions aren't the clearest to read, so it's usually best to start playing and then you get into it and then you remember how it, and then yeah. But um, I was reading the instructions for it and I was just like, I don't know how I ever knew how to play this. <laughs> but it's fine, we got there. We got there. Um, but yeah, good day so far. Need to, so yeah, I think we're gonna watch a Christmas film, write our shopping list for any Christmassy foodie bits that we want to get um, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I think it would be fun to try and dye some yarn. I need to wash socks tomorrow as well. I think it'd be fun to try and dye some yarn on Tuesday. Um, maybe some of the resistance is colorways. I think that would be fun, just work on some of those. Um, some of you have uh, given great suggestions on colours, a lot of you saying poisons should be purple um, and the like. So yeah, I need to find out my notebook that I was making notes in that has been, well I was going to say hidden, I don't mean hidden, tidied away. Um, find that back out and yeah, start working on that. And then I don't know, release it in what, January, February? bit of a weird time to release stuff in January or February because very often people are on a yarn diet and don't want to buy any yarn and then you, if you're releasing a collection then you kind of want people to be in a spendy mood but yeah I also need to start thinking about clubs next year and if I'm going to really sign ups on the first because the first is actually coming up very soon I'm going to mend some more socks and watch a Christmas film and then knit Mario's sleeve because I really need to finish this job spent the evening watching The Witcher and then Mary played some video games with his friend. I'm knitting his sleeve. It's a very fitted sleeve. I was worried he wouldn't like it but he's just tried it on and uh, it seems to like the fitted sleeve. He doesn't have a jumper like it so you know. Um, I reckon I have half an inch more to knit and then I can start the ribbing. So I'm, the plan is to finish this jumper, this sleeve tonight, and start the next one, because it's only quarter to seven. Start the next one, and then, um, yeah, because the problem with sleeves is there's two of them. But this seems to have gone by quite quickly, which is good. Um, yes, 
I have done some more mending. This one, this one you've already seen. I did this one, which I don't think is going to be very comfortable. It's on the bottom of his foot. It's Mario sock. I don't think it's going to be very comfortable. But really, I pulled it too tight. It's a bit bunched up. I don't know. So I said, this is not one you wear on long walks. Um, and then we have this one, which you saw. It's not. This one's not very tidy because I started doing it and filming it, and then realised I was losing. Um, but this one, the, the one of the last ones I did, much neater. Fun, fun contrast as well. Um, yeah, I'm all about the visible mending at the moment because this one also has a patch here, but it's in the same yarn, so it's not as noticeable. But I just, I just went all out with this one. But yes, successful mending day. Glad I've got them done. And now tomorrow I can hand wash many pairs of socks because I leave it too long. Um, I'm tempted to wash them down the dye shed, but the issue with that is I don't have hot water down there. I suppose I could take the kettle down there. But I don't have hot water down there, so I don't know how good that will go. But I have my spin dryer down there, I have my heated airer down there, so I could do it down there. Or I could just do it up here and put them all in the washing machine to spin. That could also work, but yes. Um, otherwise it's going to take them forever to dry. And I want to hand wash them so I can put similar colours together because uh, I don't want the light socks you know, I want to go from light to dark I have soap wool wash as well it seems pointless to try to wash them all together in the machine because they're just going to like a dye somewhere is going to run because sod's law, anyway um, yeah it's been a good day, it's been a fun day, we didn't watch a Christmas film we watched The Witcher, we finished season 1 and we started season 2, then Mary went to play video games with his friend and also, neither of us were concentrating on season two, so we need to start that episode again. Um, and yes, I will finish this sleeve tonight. Tomorrow when I come on here, I will show you a completed sleeve. That is my promise to you. That is my hope to you. Because when did I start this sleeve? Friday, did I? So that's two days. Maybe Thursday night. It was two days of knitting the sleeve. No, it was Friday. So if I start it tonight and then I'll have tomorrow and Tuesday, hopefully it will be finished on Tuesday. There's there's the dream. Um, but yes, I'm going to leave it here. I actually genuinely do th think this time it is a shorter vlog because um, yeah, I've played a video game, uh, played a board game for hours and then it's difficult to film me mending these because it's an awkward camera angle. But like I said, I do have a video of me doing it. Kind of explaining it, but not explaining it very well. It's more of a demo than a tutorial. And it's full of people telling me it's not darning, but when I looked up the definition of darning, it says repairing a knitted, basically the gist of it is, is repairing a knitted item through weaving. Which is what this says. Plus it's called a darning loom. Just saying. Anyway. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to subscribe. It would be lovely to have you here. Join the party that is the Corner of Craft. I'm posting a video every day in the run up to Christmas. And I'm going to be doing more frequent videos, at least one a week. If you'd like to follow me on social media, please feel free. Links, as always, can be found in the description box below, along with any other information that I think you might need, uh, such as the tea of the day, which, coincidentally, I had in my bio the other day. But it's delicious tea, so that's fair. And also the shop where you can get these, the speed weave. Um, that will also be in the description box below. If you are interested, if you're not, then that's fine. I will not take offence. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've got up to. Have you had a good weekend? The vloggy check-in. We love to see it. And um, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It really helps to boost my video in the YouTube algorithm. And with all that being said, thank you so, so much for watching. It's been lovely spending the day with you. And I will see you very soon in tomorrow's video.